bloody cold. It snowed last night. I couldn't believe it. I was going to bed and I turned the lights off and then I was looking around like everything looks, it looks very bright for, for night, like what's going on. So I looked outside and lo and behold, it was snowing. So yeah, <laughs> winter's back. Just what we thought it was going. So hopefully this cold spell won't last too long because it was getting nice. It was getting like 10 or 11 degrees. But then yesterday it was like minus two. But anyway, we're back with another little vlog today. I actually got in so two new pairs of trousers yesterday from Zara, which I'm gonna show you because I'm so impressed. I ordered them online. Um, usually if I see something online, I'll check and see if they have it close by so I can try it on without having to order it and then go and change it if it doesn't fit. But they didn't have them in any of the shops close by. So I just took a chance and I ordered both of them and they fit to perfection. So I'll show you now in a bit. I feel like Zara are gone so weird with their sizes. I feel like they were always kind of weird with their sizes. We know that they cater mainly to smaller people. Um, but I even feel like there's been times I've had to return stuff that were a small to get a medium. And before, and the trousers I ordered yesterday were an extra small and they fit perfect. So I'm either an extra small, a small or a medium in Zara. Okay, let's get into this um, little Zara haul. I just ordered this like little rib net tank top, but I just wanted something that was a bit longer that I could tuck in because a lot of my a lot of my little tank tops that I have are all cropped, which are fine for the summer, but not so much in the winter. Yeah, it will fall over my new clothes. Thank you. Okay, so this is the first pair. They're just a button, just a little front button and a zip. But they are really high waisted, which I love. I love a good high waisted trouser. I'm just gonna pull my top up so you can see them. Um, but I just love how these fit. So this is them, um, like a nice baggy straight leg. The material is actually nice and light. I feel like even in the summertime, these are gonna be so nice. This length is actually perfect because I feel like it's the perfect length for wearing like runners or sandals or a, a heel. I feel like I could definitely get away with both. Okay, so this is them with some runners. Almost touching the ground. Actually, it is kind of touching the ground a little bit, but I would just put a little pin in that so they don't get wrecked. I love having trousers like this in my wardrobe because you can really wear them with anything, like runners, with heels, whatever you want. They're just so versatile, so... If you're looking to expand your wardrobe, I recommend these for sure. Okay, so these are the next ones. They're not the same trouser. Uh, they're very similar, but not the same. They have a little, they have a different waistband. And these ones have a pleat that go all the way down the front and they are definitely much baggier. These ones are just so chic. Again, like you can dress them up, dress them down, whatever you want. The material is quite lightweight. Just like so free. These ones are definitely a lot longer. This is me on my tippy toes and like they're quite long. So if I wore these with runners, I would definitely have to pin them some way so they don't get ruined. But still, very much a winner. So yeah, I will link, uh, I'll link both of these trousers if you want to check them out yourself. But for me, it's a yes. These actually come in black and they come in... I think that was this the cream color I got? They're kind of more like a grayish, is that the word? Like a gray beige. These are, um, and it is also a khaki color. I don't know what they look like in real life, but they look really nice on the website. I didn't order them before because they didn't have my size. So I said I would just try these ones first. Most likely have flat cushion covers. 
But it's worth it, isn't it, bud? So let's get to the unboxing. No joke, I have been looking at these shoes for months. Like, a good six months. Like, even if not more so i decided to go try them on and the second i tried them on it was a need it was a want a need a must and everything even jay came with me jay is my boyfriend by the way so when i refer to somebody as jay it's my boyfriend social media is not his thing so he doesn't really be on here but we'll try and get him on here one of these days even he was like okay they're actually cool I didn't think he was gonna like them because I know these shoes are not for everybody. Uh, when I showed him the when I showed him the shoe, he was just kind of like, like as much as to say, "What the f are they?" But I was like, "Wait!" And I tried them on; they're gonna be so cool. And then after I tried them on, he was like, "Yeah, hundred percent. Like, they're so nice." So these are them: the nude Prada slingback pumps. I obviously got the nude because everything that I own is beige nude. All the neutrals. Uh, I did try the black ones on as well. The black ones are really nice. But these definitely were so much more me. I am just obsessed. Like, this was the last pair in this colour in my size in the whole of Canada. So, obviously needed to get them. So, if that wasn't a sign, then I don't know what is. So, yeah, I just thought I would share my little present to myself with you. <laughs> I have read a couple of books recently, so I thought I'd share um, if you're interested. So I read The Silent Patient, which is a thriller. Most of them are thrillers, because that's what I like to read. Um, I actually really liked it. I like thrillers that have lots of twists and turns, and it's like, who did it type of thing. They're the type of books that I like to read. Um, I liked this one. It was easy to read. Um, I've never read any of his books before, but I enjoyed it. I would read another. Um, so yeah, that is... I would recommend that. This one isn't a thriller. It's called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. It's by Mitch Album. Um, it's kind of like, so basically this man dies and then he meets five different people in heaven and they all are there to teach him something. And um, it's only like a very short little book. It's very cute. It's just like one of those little life lesson type of books. There's also another one, he, he's actually got a good few books, but I've only read two of his, which is this one. And then Tuesdays with Mari, which is really, really cute really cute i recommend that it's another short little book like this as well um so yeah just a cute little easy read i will leave that to last i read harlan coben fool me once so i picked up his books because there's a show on netflix called stay safe stay safe i think it's called it's only recently out and um, you've probably seen it it's like a british crime thriller show uh really good if you haven't watched it and you like those type of shows it's really really good um and he also did another one called The Stranger, if you remember that one. It's another one that was on Netflix last year maybe, or the year before. Maybe last year. Those shows were based on books that he had wrote. So when I saw his name, I was like, oh, I'll try one of his books. Um, I liked it. It was like a good story. There was good twists in it. But I found that like in some parts, it was just kind of... There was almost like paragraphs on it that didn't really need to be there. It was just kind of like just to fill a book type of thing. And um, so I found that was a little bit like that in this book. I would still read another one of his books to give it another go. Um, like I still finished it. It was still like easy enough to read. But there were some parts where I was like, that's kind of pointless. But um, yeah, so that's that one. And then this one was the most graphic, most intense thriller book I've read. Um, major trigger warnings, it's not for the faint hearted. It's a lot, um, yeah, very graphic. So if you are someone who likes thriller books but just can't take some stuff, then I probably wouldn't recommend this. I really liked her, it was the first time I've ever read any of her books. It was the first time I've actually heard of her, I never heard of her before. I just saw someone post it on Instagram, so I was like, ooh, let's give it a go. Um, so like it was a very dense book, there was a lot in it, it was like 400 pages or something, it was almost 400 pages but like there was a lot in it. But I still couldn't put it down because I was like oh my god what's going to happen, what's going to happen, like so many twists and turns, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, I'll definitely read another one of her books, I like how she writes, um, but again 
very detailed graphic and um, but yeah that's called pretty girls her name is karen slaughter could her name be any more perfect for a thriller crime writer and um, so i'll definitely get another one of her books for sure and um, yeah that's just wanted to share that with you if you're interested um yeah i think i'm gonna go buy a new book today because i'm in the mood to read so i want to just stay on the reading train and i want to go and get some tulips because cute i also have no flowers right now i usually go to costco and get my roses because they're like the best value and they last for like two weeks but i'm not going to costco in the middle of a friday <laughs> just for a bunch of flowers hell no if you know you know so i think i might just go try pick up some little tulips get the spring vibes going but yeah that's pretty much it <laughs>